Hello friends welcome to Gateway Solutions. In this video, I will teach you to create RDP in a new way, through which you can create RDP for free and that too with lifetime validity. Here we will use two websites. First is ngrok.com and second is github.com. With the help of these two websites, we will create RDP. Just watch the full video don't skip so it's my guarantee that you guys will be able to create RDP. My viewer who are watching the video for the first time please subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon so that you will get technical updates like this. And get the notification of interesting videos first. So let's start the video. Welcome back friends. First of all we will open ngrok.com website. Ok website is open. Now we will click on sign up for free button. Here we want to specify the account name of your account, you give it. Give email age, here you use genuine email. Then set a good password. Then we will click I am not robot. And us here the message is being received that you people should select the square boxes in which the fire hydrant show is going on. We selected here boxes. After that we clicked on next. Showing again, we have to select the bus here and click on verify. Then we will accept the terms and conditions. After that click on sign up button. Friends error is showing this email is already registered. So we use the new email email. Select I am not robot again. Click on the sign up button. Ok so our account has been created using the new email. Ok, now the second website will run on githubdotcom. If you have created an account with github, then you sign in. Otherwise we will create an account here. You search github sign up in google. Open it. Same page will open as shown and here we will create new account. First here you have entered your email id. You have to give the email it want to use in account creation. You have to assign your own password. You can also keep any password. Here in password use alphabetic, numeric and special character and password length will be 15 character long. Ok, then we will click on continue. Ok, then we will click on continue. Next we will assign username. If your username is available then you will be shown the username is available otherwise not available. After that we will click on continue. Next it will show want to receive notification instructions from github. If you enter y then you will receive and if you enter n then you will not receive updates, notifications. I'll enter N here because I don't want notifications. After that we will click on continue. Then we have to verify our account. A puzzle will be shown. To solve it we will click on start puzzle. Next here you have to select that square box in which two identical means same objects are showing. Ok our puzzle is solved. Now click on create account button. Next, there is a code sent to email to verify your email. We have to copy the code from the email and paste it here. If we check on ngrok website then you are being asked to verify the email. Now we will log in to the email. Which you have used in ngrok and github. We have received this mail from ngrok. First we open it. Click on this link. We are getting the message your email has been confirmed. Now refresh the page with ngrok. You can see that the email verification message is no longer showing. Now let's verify GitHub. 
Open mail received from GitHub. Copy the code that is being shown to us and go to the GitHub website and paste it. Next we are being asked the count of team members. I will select here, just me. Next, we are being asked whether you are a student or a teacher. I select student here. Click on continue button. Click on continue button. Now we have to choose the free account. Click on continue for free button. Okay. Our account has been created. Now open the NGROK website. Click on your auth token from the panel which is being shown on the right hand side. Click on your auth token from the panel which is being shown on the right hand side. This is your auth token which we will use on GitHub. Now open the GitHub website. In the upper right corner of plus button, use the drop down menu and select new repository. Type a short, memorable name for your repository. For example, RDP. Choose a repository visibility. I'll set its visibility to private. Click on settings which is being shown to us at the top. Click on see certs and variables inside the settings which we can see in the right hand sidebar. Under this you click on action. Next you click on new repository secret. Type N-G-R-O-K-A-U-T-H-T-O-K-E-N -O -O -E under name field. Type same as I have typed the name. If there is a mistake here, your RDP will not work. I will also put the description. Next tab named as secret, we will put auth token. For this we will go to NGROK website. We will copy your auth token from here. For that you will click on the copy button. After copying, you will go back to the GitHub website here. We will paste inside the secret tab. After pasting, click on add secret. Okay. Now the menu which is showing at the top, here you will click on the action button. Next we have to click on, set up a workflow yourself. Ok so here we have a code, we'll paste it here. At the moment I have saved this code in a text file, from there we will copy and paste it. We have to copy the text from name colon ci to tcp3389. And I will put this code on my blog. I will put the link of the blog in the description. From there you copy it. And paste here. Now we will click on start commit button and after that we will click on commit new file. Now we will again click on action and we will be shown the create main.yml workflow. Click on this workflow. Right now here we have the status in process. A little below we will see build. We'll click on build. These few steps will be completed inside build only then our RDP will run. These steps will be completed in 15 to 20 seconds. You wait here. The steps which will be completed will be tick marked. Ok it is showing the username and password of our RDP. Our RDP back quote s username is runner admin and password is p at sswrd. Friends, we create any RDP in GitHub, everyone's username and password will be the same. I will also give username and password in the blog. Ok here RDP back quote s steps are done. Now we will go to the NGROK website.
Here we will click on Cloud Edge. Inside it we will click on Endpoints. After this we will see the URL here. Click on it. Now we will copy the URL but as much as I am copying. Don't copy the HTTP colon backslashes. Next open Remote Desktop Connection. Now paste the URL address that we copied in the Computer tab of Remote Desktop Connection. Click on Show More. Copy the username from GitHub. Paste it here. After this we will tick mark on Allow me to save credentials. Click on the Connect button. Now we will enter the password. Let us copy the password from the GitHub website. Paste the password. Also select Remember Me. Click on the OK button. Click on the Yes button. We will wait. Our RDP is connecting. Please don't stop the video here. Otherwise you will not be able to use RDP. This command interface is being shown. Do not close it. If you close it, RDP will also stop. We will minimize it. Second, you have to keep your ngrock and GitHub website open to use RDP. Now let's check internet speed. Now we check internet speed. You can see that we are getting download speed of 1224 Mbps. We are getting upload speed of 936 Mbps. Now we open YouTube. Now let us see the system configuration. Type system information in the search. Open it by clicking. We have very good processor and you can check it by Google it is 26 core processor. Let's check the RAM by scrolling a bit. That we are getting 7 GB. This RTP is available with very good configuration, good internet speed. You can use it for as long as you want. If you follow the step-by-step -step video then you can also create RDP in the same way. Friends, if you like the video, then like it and share it with your friends. Those who are my new viewer please subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon so that you will get the video notification first. Friends also check the location and bring it. For this we open the ip-score.com website. So you can see that our location is USA. Okay now let's close the video. Thanks for watching bye.